Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading titled, Underestimating Ourselves, was written by Glenn Packiam. The young man became his team's captain. The professional sports squad was now led by a mild-mannered kid who barely needed to shave. His first press conference was underwhelming. He kept deferring to the coach and to his teammates and mumbled cliches about just trying to do his job. The team performed poorly that season, and by the end of it, the young captain had been traded. He didn't grasp that he'd been entrusted with the authority to lead, or maybe he never believed he could. In 1 Samuel 15, we read that due to his failures, Saul was small in his own eyes, which is a funny thing to say about a guy who's described as being tall. He was literally head and shoulders above the rest. And yet, that wasn't how he saw himself. In fact, his actions in the chapter show him trying to win the approval of the people. He hadn't fully grasped that God, not people, had chosen him and given him a mission. But Saul's mistake is a picture of every human being's failure. We can miss that we were made in God's image to reflect his rule and end up misusing our authority, spreading destruction in the world. To undo this, we need to return to God, to let the Father define us by His love, to let Him fill us with the Spirit, and to let Jesus send us out into the world. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Samuel chapter 15, verses 10 through 18. Then the word of the Lord came to Samuel. I regret that I have made Saul king, because he has turned away from me and has not carried out my instructions. Samuel was angry, and he cried out to the Lord all that night. Early in the morning, Samuel got up and went to meet Saul, but he was told, Saul has gone to Carmel. There he has set up a monument in his own honor and has turned and gone down to Gilgal. When Samuel reached him, Saul said, The Lord bless you. I have carried out the Lord's instructions. But Samuel said, What then is this bleeding of sheep in my ears? What is this lowing of cattle that I hear? Saul answered, The soldiers brought them from the Amalekites. They spared the best of the sheep and the cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God, but we totally destroyed the rest. Enough, Samuel said to Saul. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Tell me. Saul replied. Samuel said, Although you were once small in your own eyes, did you not become the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king over Israel, and he sent you on a mission saying, Go and completely destroy those wicked people, the Amalekites. Wage war against them until you have wiped them out. Let's pray. Dear Father, help us to have eyes to see ourselves as you see us and give us the courage and strength to faithfully carry out the calling you've entrusted us with. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.